What's going on everyone, my name is of course Josh and welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video pretty much we're going to be unboxing a SSD from ADATA and an external hard drive enclosure from ADATA. It also works with SSD so that's pretty cool. Uh, pretty much these two are supposed to fuse together to make one cool little tech item that you should bring around with you if you do stuff like this. Um, so with that further delay, let's jump straight to the unboxing. Okay guys, so we're going to install this into the enclosure, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll show you guys how to do it as well. So at the top of the actual enclosure, there's this little clip that you can see. You need to slide that to the very side, so pop that one through. Okay, now to open it up, we'll put our thumbs here and we'll push up, and that should release the mechanism. This should allow you just to take the cover off straight out. And if you look inside, you've got your little uh, PCB in there as well. This is pretty much what gives you connection from your SATA to your USB, which is also at the bottom, if you have a look right there. So now what you want to do is you want to get your SSD, so mine's right here, you put that into the case, click it down and it's in. Now what you're going to want to do is get your external enclosure's front piece, grab it and pull it down and then it should just click into place. Now one last, make sure you put this locking mechanism back to lock. Sweet. So this is pretty much what it looks like guys, it's actually quite nice. Um, there's SSDs all inside, it's quite lightweight as well, so it'd be good for traveling. This one's only a 256GB SSD, but that's still fairly enough for all your movies and stuff. Um, but yeah, with reliability, SSDs are really the way to go. You can always get external hard drives, but there's always a much more chance they're going to break. But um, yeah, pretty happy with how this turned out. Now let's go do some speed tests with it. Um, at the moment I've got a 960 EVO in my computer, so when it comes to M.2 performances, you won't be getting that out of one of these. But in saying that, you've got reliability and they're extremely fast still. Okay guys, now that we're in our recording software, we're going to do an SSD benchmark. What we're going to actually do is use the Samsung SSD 960 EVO at the start, just so we can see what a base is of a M.2 SSD running NVMe. So let's go ahead and try this. Um, we're only going to be doing the sequentials, not the 4K, because these ones just take way too long. And this is generally what you're going to be doing anyway. So we'll start this one. Okay, so the write's 373 megabytes per second, and the read's 2089 megabytes per second. Okay guys, now that we've got the ADATA SSD working, let's try and do a benchmark. Of course, it's going to be nothing like the M.2, but we can always see how well it goes. Again, remember this is an external SSD, so it's not actually internal within the SATA port. Okay, so it's looking like it's going to hit around 180 to 100 megabytes. Yep, so 178 megabytes on the right, and... 426 megabytes on the read, so that's not actually that bad. Now, like again, I'm going to stop the 4K. Those are pretty decent scores considering it's an SSD outside of an enclosure as well. Okay, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button and also subscribe uh, for future content. Obviously, it always makes you keep going, and you guys are pretty much the reason why I do this. So, if you enjoy these videos, please support me on the channel. Also, I'd like to give a big shout out to ADATA for sending me the external enclosure and the SSD. Really cool, those guys, and I thank you so much. Um, if you guys are interested in any PC builds, I've got a couple coming up in the next couple of days. I've uh, got my second gaming rig to make, and I've also got a media PC and a couple of gaming builds at the store. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.